thank you for watching and in this video we are going to discuss about the sheet metal tool so solidwork have a full suite of sheet metal tools so although they are working a lot and they are making a lot of improvement in sheet metal tool and there is one another thing i'm not going to cover this topic in detail in this course because this is a specialized topic and our solidwork course is essential and basic guide course so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into it and i can just show you where this tool is available and how you can use this kind of tool and there is one more thing like this is pretty similar with the regular extrude but the only thing is in the regular extrude we have a enclosed body but here we have an open body okay so let's go into the tabs and if you cannot see your tab here for the sheet metal so what you can do is you can just right click on here and go into the tabs and you can just check sheet metal tool here and then in the sheet metal tool there there are a lot of options so let's go first and we, we can see like on the front plane we have a sketch here so what we can do is we can go into the sheet metal tool and then we can go into the basic function which is base flange okay so in this way we can apply base flange on our sketch so as i already said this is pretty identical with the regular extrude so that's why we can see all those options like if you want to extrude till blend till vertex or up to surface or all these kind of things so let's say we want to extend it with the mid plane and then we can change the dimensions how much we want to extend it suppose i'm fine with these values and there are other options like if you want to bend it and what is the relief and what is the relief ratio you want to use so i'm not going to go into the detail so i'm just okay with it so i'm just going to click the green check mark so in this way i would have my first sheet metal here and then what we can do is i would like to go into the another option which is edge flange so what we can do is we can just select the edge like this and then we can go as much as we want to go so and then i'm going to click the green check mark so in this way we can just create a flange here as well so i want to have a flange on these sides as well so let's go into the edge flange again and then i'm going to select this edge then i'm going to select this edge as well and then i'm going to select this edge as well so i can just select it the all edges wherever i want to go and then like this okay one more thing which i want to mention here like this is not very easy to made in real life sheet metal tool unless you have some kind of forming tool so whatever the sides you want to flange i just selected all the sides all the sides and then i'm just going to click the green check mark okay as you can see there is an option rebuild error only the bend outside is allowed okay and then there are different styles of flange so you can just change your style and then it's it should work okay i can change this one as you can see so it was asking about the flange like now we just created to the outside so that's why you can see it here so this was all about the sheet metal tool and this is a really powerful tool yes if you want to go into the deep so maybe you can check some specialized course on sheet metal or this was just an overview of this tool and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and if you are a serious SOLIDWORKS learner, then don't forget to check the course link in the description. Thank you. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you are a serious SOLIDWORKS learner, then don't forget to check the course link in the description. Thank you.